In the following video, we're going to take a look at the funds page within the event planner. So I'm here on the event planner dashboard and I'm coming down to my quick links and clicking on funds. Now this is a funds page that has no transactions in the system. And due to the fact that there's no transactions in the system, there's not a lot that I can cover. So what I'm going to do is substitute this page for another page from a test site that we have and let's bring that in now. Okay, so the funds page is going to include all transactions that were processed through the event planner or the donation manager and the product manager as online payments. So if somebody used a credit card through the system, then those transactions are going to show up here. At the top of the page, it shows a current balance as well as available for withdrawal balance. The difference is the available for withdrawal balance may be less than the current balance if enough time has not passed for those transactions to fully clear into the system. You need to allow for five business days for those transactions to fully clear into our system before they become available to you. If you have completed the process of verifying your bank account via the Manage Payment Preferences page, you will also have a Withdrawal Funds button located right here on this page. Now let's take a brief look at how the list is formatted. What you will see listed down below are your list of transactions and the date on which the transaction occurred, the type of transaction it is, and the name of the member who made the transaction. You will also see the amount of the transaction as well as the fee that was reduced or taken from the transaction, as well as your balance at that point in time. If there are adjustments made in the system by class creator, you will see that adjustment listed there. Typically, you will not see this happen. If you make a transfer of funds from our bank to yours, you will see that recorded in the list as well. One thing that is important to note is that if you are accepting products or donations in the process for the event planner, those funds are included in the amount within the event planner area. To see the specifics on how those funds break down, you will want to go to the reports section of the event planner. You will also be able to take a look at the transactions area and click on a specific transaction to see what was purchased during that transaction. Finally, one other thing to really know about the funds page and how this system works is that at the time of the transaction, when your member pays for their product or their event via credit card, there's going to be a five-day hold on that transaction. Additionally, when it's time for you to withdraw the funds from our system to your bank, that process is going to take five full business days for the funds to transfer from our bank to your bank account. So you're going to want to plan accordingly when it comes to setting a cutoff date for closing down sales using credit cards within your event planner. Join me in my next video when we talk about the transactions page. Thank you.